Before we start, I'd like to remind everyone, both here in the audience and those watching on the webcast, of what we've said are the three most important pr priorities for this council, which should underpin everything we do and our objectives about how we get there. They are improving the well-being of our residents, and that means not just uh, the day-to-day -day things, but in schools, in care, and everything else to do with it. Enhancing Surrey's economic prosperity, making sure that our businesses have jobs for people who need them, and ensuring that residents' experience of our services, that they are easy to use, value for money, and they are responsive to residents' needs. Every decision that we take should support these three goals. At the same time, we need to rem remain mindful of the significant budget pressures we face, particularly for adult, so adult social care and school places as a re result of reductions in government funding. And I don't think after last night's House of Lords debate, things are going to get easier. This year alone, we need to make £67 million of savings, but given that we've already saved £329 million, it's getting harder and harder for us to find the money to meet the rising demand for our services. On our agenda today, we have a variety of decisions that we need to take which links into all of our three priorities. For example, we will be considering whether to invest 1.9 million in mental health services to support young people's well-being. We will be deciding whether to invest in improved visitor facilities at Newlands Corner to improve the residents' experience of our beautiful Surrey countryside. And we will also take a decision relating to new homes and infrastructure needed for our residents in Hawley, which supports economic prosperity. We'll also consider options for overnight short break for children and disabilities in the east of the county. And we will take an important decision about funding for schools, special education and nurseries in the next financial year.